Welcome to my channel, Dave's Ways to Make Money. If this is your first time visiting my channel, what my channel is about is finding ways to help people make money. One of the ways to potentially make money is with this company called Alamy. Alamy is an online platform where you can sell your images and get paid for it. So first, let's go to sell images. And I wanna go here, how to sell images on Alamy. So over here is a brief synopsis on how to sell your images on Alamy. So first, you will take a great photo or create a cool illustration. You upload your image to the Alamy website and add tags to describe it. In 24 hours, your image is available for purchase by Alamy customers around the world. And customer license the image from Alamy, they pay us and we pay you. Now before I go further, I'm going to be sharing very important information about Alamy, like how to sell images on your iPhone to Alamy and get paid, and I'm also going to be talking about their quality control. So stay tuned for that valuable information. So number one, it says that you can send them anything. So that's good. So you can pretty much send them any image you like. Good percentage and a non-exclusive contract. So if your images are exclusive with Alamy, you will receive 50% of all direct sales. Exclusive means you only sell that image to Alamy. Images not exclusive to Alamy will receive 40% of all direct sales. So not exclusive means you sell that image to Alamy and you sell it to another company. So for example, if you have an image of a tree that you sell, you can sell that exact same tree image to Alamy and to other companies as well. And you will receive 40% of all direct sales if you use that method. How do I get my images for sale on Alamy? The first thing you want to do is sign up as an Alamy contributor. And I'll put the sign up link below the video once you're ready to sign up and join Alamy. Send your check. You understand how to prepare your images for Alamy. Choose how you want to send your images, either online, upload, or FTP. And I'll be talking more about that momentarily, so stay tuned for that. Once your images are uploaded, our quality control team will check them and I'll talk more about quality control as well. When they pass, they'll be ready for you to add captions and tags, also known as keywords in your account. Once you finish adding your tags, the images will be on sale the next day. Okay, so that's the process of how to sell images on Alamy. Guidelines for submitting images to Alamy. Number three, this is very important, you definitely want to stay tuned for this. All right, how to pass quality control. So the first thing you want to do is use a DSL camera or something equivalent to that. So I would use like a, a Canon camera T6 or T7 or something of that nature. If you use a camera from like 10, 15 years ago, or if you use your phone to upload images to Alamy, chances are it will not pass quality control. If the images that you sell to them, or not sell, if the images you upload to them do not pass quality control, they will freeze your account for 10 days. So keep that in mind. Now, if you do not have a DSL camera or something equivalent to that, what I will do is I'll put links below my video. I have Amazon links that where you can buy cameras from. So. That's an option for you if you do not have a DSL camera or something equivalent to that. Check your images at 100%. So basically, when you take a picture, just keep the camera still. Do not use any editing software to that image. Just take the picture and upload it to Alamy. That'd be my suggestion. Don't try to modify it or do anything of that nature. All files that you upload, all images that you upload have to be done using JPEG. 
and it says your file size over 17 megabytes when compressed slash open. Your JPEG file is likely to have a compressed size of 3 to 5 megabytes. Opening a JPEG in an image program such as Adobe Photoshop will show you the uncompressed slash open file size. Okay, that's good information to know. So here are the two ways to upload your images. One way is through the FTP, which is File Transfer Protocol, and the Alamy Upload. Now usually when I upload images, I do it this way. I use Alamy Upload. So the first thing you would do is select Upload, and then tick the box for your chosen upload route. So you choose the files you want to upload. And then remember, that to be JPEG files and it says either browse files or drag and drop and then the last part is you would click finish to submit your submission alright let's talk about those of you who want to upload images using your iPhone so if you want to upload images using your Apple iPhone you've got to download the Sakamo app through the App Store so you download the Sakamo app and then you would upload your images that way. So that's another opportunity for those of you who have Apple iPhones. How we check your images. So basically, like I said, the quality control team are gonna review your images. They're gonna make sure your images are at 100%. And they're gonna also check to make sure there are no errors, no technical errors. And I'm going to put this link below the video, how to pass quality control. So definitely check that out before you upload images. For the sake of time, I'm not going to go over all of these here. But like I said, I will put a link. I'll put this link below the video so you can check that out if you like. So for your first submission, we need three images to check. Each one of these images must pass and all three images should have a valid XF camera info. So basically when you upload images to Alamy for the first time, you have to submit three images and all three of them must pass and it says that all three images should have a valid XF camera info. So if you use like a Canon camera, like the T6 or the T7 or like a Nikon camera or something or a camera of that equivalent you should be okay and like I said I will put I have some Amazon links that you can buy cameras from if you like and I put those links below this video too so after your first submission has passed you can send them as many images as you like and they'll just check a few of them and when they're okay your whole submission will pass that's good now if they find a problem with one image your whole submission will fail so if you submit five great images and one of them don't pass, then they will fail you for all those images. And then like I said, your account will be frozen for 10 days. Hopefully that won't happen to any of you. So make sure you use a DSL camera or something equivalent to that. Okay, so there's two licenses that you could use to sell your images. The first one is Right Manage and the second one is Royalty Free. So for rights manage, it says here, with this license, the customer only pays for what they're using the image for. Rights managed licenses can define how, where, when, or for how long an image is being used. RF stands for royalty free. Customers pay a one-off fee to use this image with no restrictions on how they use it or how long they use it for. RF images can be used across multiple projects forever. So for this one, this is more restrictive. Because this one, they're, they're, they're limited in terms of how they can use your image. This one, once a customer pays for your image, they can use it however they like. So most customers prefer to buy royalty-free images. So my recommendation to you all, if you are selling images on Alamy, I would sell them as royalty-free. That's what most customers prefer. In fact, it says that right here. Our customers are increasingly asking for broader rights 
so we'd recommend selling your images as RF. But the decision is yours. So, like you're saying, and like I'm saying, I would recommend you sell your images as royalty free, because that's what customers prefer. Okay, so if you have images of people in a photo, you need to have a signed model release. As you can see here, there are two people in this photo, so you will need to release this. In this photo, there they are five people. One, two, three, four, five. So you will need five releases. If you take a photo that has a trademark logo in it, you must get a property release in order to sell for commercial use. So for example, if you take a picture and there's a Pepsi logo in it, or a Coca-Cola logo, or a Mountain Dew, or Snickers, or Skittle, or any logo whatsoever, you need a properly release from that company. If you take a picture, for example, of an Apple iPhone, not only would you need a property release from Apple, which has to be signed, also, you would need a signed property release from Instagram and Twitter since their logos appear, or since their icons, excuse me, appear in the, in the photo. All right, art and images. Images of artwork slash murals slash graffiti must be taken with wider context to the image, i.e. as part of a street scene. They should also be marked as available for editorial use only. Images that are solely for artwork could be seen as copyright or trademark infringement and shouldn't be uploaded to Alamy as stock photography. So if you take any mural or graffiti type images, just take, take that image and it says here, just take it with a wider context. So maybe you might want to take the image of graffiti and maybe put a little bit of the street in there. That's just a suggestion and make sure that they're marked as editorial use only. Okay, so once you're, once you make more than $50, you'll be paid at the start of each month. So here are the three payment methods. The first one is you can have the funds transferred to your bank account. The second method is by PayPal. And the third is by Skrill. So these are the three ways you can get paid. And it says in which currency you get paid in. So you, you can either be paid in US pounds sterling, US dollars, or euros. And it says there are additional revenue options for selling images. So there are two additional options. The first option is you can sell your image to the, their global distribution network. And the second option is you can sell your images under unique and novel schemes. For the second time, I'm not gonna go over these two options here, but I will put this link below the video. So if you are interested, you can check that out. Hopefully I gave you valuable information about Alamy. I do recommend you give them a try because you could make great money with this company. I highly recommend that you use a DSLR camera or something equivalent to that. Remember, if your images don't pass, they will freeze your account for 10 days and you will not be able to sell any images during that time. So definitely use a high quality camera and you should be a-okay. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you're interested in making money because I will be putting out more videos in the future on how to make money. And also definitely click on the notification bell too. So subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. That way when I put out new content, you'll be able to get it right away. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful, day.